Welcome to the final presentation of this Python 102 classes final project. I will start sharing my screen. Please let me know if it's visible. So my name is Ahala Ayala Somayajala, and I am an eighth grader studying in Future Kids School in Hyderabad. So before we deep dive into the Python projects, I would like to give you a brief introduction about Project ABCD and Shiro's. ABCD, it stands for A Bite of Culture in Dresses. This project is a massive compilation of over a thousand characters associated with the Indian subcontinent. There are men and women from the present and from the past. From, there are also characters from the Puranas, such as the Mahabharata and the Ramayana, and also fictional characters from popular folklore. So once you click on a character, it takes you to a screen looking like this. So I have chosen our honorable president, Draupadi Murmu. So first you have a description on the left side, which is roughly 250 to 300 words. And then you also have the did you know, which is a fun fact about the character. And then you have an illustration on the right side. Earlier this year in Guntur, uh, a subset of Project ABCD, which was a compilation of the stories of 256 inspiring women from India, titled Shiro's, was released. So you can get your copy of the book by clicking here. So coming to the Python projects part, we had to first extract the information from the ABCD project website to actually start coding. So we used the JSON response, we imported the JSON, and then we got the JSON response for the description, the did you know, and the name, as you can see on the left-hand slide, on the left-hand side here in the snippet. So we had the link, and then we had the ID numbers running in a loop, where we got the JSON response. So the, the output you see in the JSON is the same as what the users see on the website. As a class, we were assigned around 20 tasks in total, among which four of them were completed by all of us individually. In addition to this, we were supposed to complete three to five other projects by ourselves. So I will be speaking about these seven projects in detail to you in the upcoming slides. So the first project was the frequency table where we had to output the top n number of words used in the Shiro's book. So my approach to this was that I first got the JSON response for the description and the did you know sections for all of the Shiro's API IDs, creating a total text for each of them. And then I appended all of the total texts to form a bigger all text. And I also created a dot text which was a list of all the words present in the alt text split using the split function in Python. And then I looped through each word in this dot text and incremented it by one for each occurrence. And then I displayed the top end words based on the user input. As you can see over here, I have gave the input as 10 and then it prints the and in of a her to she was and for. Understandably, most of them are prepositions and articles. So here I have a snippet of the code for the frequency table. I have, I have only printed this here, but I have the code ready for the list and I will be happy to share it with you. So this is the extension to the previous project. And this is a more realistic type of frequency table where we printed the table with excluding the stop words, which are mainly uh, prepositions and articles. So I used the same approach as the before one, but while I was incrementing it by one for each occurrence, I made sure that the word was not a part of the list of stop words. So here I have gave the input again as 10, and it says Indian, first, known, India, who, journey, including, born, India's, and social. Any questions? Okay. 
So the next uh, project was where we had to convert the Shiro's write-up into a PPT with each Shiro being allotted one slide. So I got the JSON response for the name, description, and the date you know, and I created a my text for each Shiro with all of this information. And then using the Python library, pptx and pptx.util, I created a slide with all of this information. I used slide layout three for this, which has the title, which, I, which was the name. And then you have a placeholder on the left side, which has all the text. And then you have a placeholder on the right side with the image. And then I uh, saved the PPT. Uh, can sir? you run it? Can you run this uh, program? Okay, sir. It may uh, take some time to generate the PPT for all 256. So run it and let it go on the background. Then you can go back to your presentation. Okay, sir. For all 256, right, sir? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So now it's kind of fetching data from the website and uh, <clears throat> placing it on the PowerPoint slides. So to do that for all 256, so uh, it may take uh, five minutes. Um, so go back to your presentation now. Okay. So in the next project, we had to convert the Shiro's write-up into an MP4 audio file. So I got the JSON response as usual and created my text with all of the information. And then I converted my text to an MP4 audio file using the Python libraries GTTS and OS. So there is a convenience in the GTTS library where we can change the accent of the audio file. It is set to the standard English US over here. So I had a sample output for Yamini Krishnamurti, Rukmini Devi Arundel, and Sanjukta Panikrahi, but I am not quite sure if I'll be able to share the audio. So can I get back to that at the end? Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Yamini Krishnamurti. Oh. Oh, it's working. Mm -hmm. oh. Born in 1940 in Chittur, Andhra Pradesh, is a globally acclaimed Kuchipudi and Bharatanatyam dancer. Her journey into the world of dance. Yes, sir. So that was a snippet of the audio. So now coming to the projects which I have worked on myself individually. So the first one in this category is the word cloud, where I had to create a word cloud based on the realistic frequency table created before. So I used the code which I used before and I got the uh, frequency table. And then using different Python libraries, such as NumPy, Matplotlib, word cloud, etc., I created a word cloud. And then you can give different parameters to enhance the look of the word cloud but as you can change the color of the words, the number of words you want, the size of the words, or even the shape of the word cloud. So I have over here the word cloud of the Shiro's book. Can you, can you run, run the code demo? So I think the PPT is running right now. So I'm not quite sure if I'll ever run both oh. of them. <laughs> okay, okay. So go back to your presentation, yeah. Mm. And then I have the Google translation, where we had to translate the Shiro's text into the destination language given by the user as the input. So again, I got the JSON response for the name, description, and the did you know, and I created a my text with all of this information. Then I took the user input for the destination language, and then using the Python library Google Trans, I converted the text into the user input. Then I wrote the information to the text file and I saved it. So over here, I have converted the text into Telugu. So a small uh, small thing, at line number 18, it says Mom Chester. So that is the conversion of Manchester. And then it says Prakhyat of Yaktulu. So according to Google Translate, I think it's taking the man in Manchester and relating it to human beings, right? Yes. So apart from minor mistakes like this. I think Google Translation has done a pretty good job in translating the text. So moving on, we have the Padma Awards. So just for FYI, the Padma Awards are the highest civilian honors given by the government of India to people who are exemplary in their own fields. 
they are the Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan, Padma Vibhushan, and the Bharat Ratna. So in this project, we had to highlight all the Shiros who have got the Padma Awards. So we could display the output for this in two ways. The Shiro-driven output, where you have the Shiro's name and the award, as you can see over here, or the award-driven output, where you have the award and all of the Shiro's who have uh, been awarded it, as you can see over here. So in the first one, I got the JSON response for all the Shiro's IDs, and I created a total text with all of the above information. Then I looped through the total text, checking whether the words Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan, Padma Vibhushan, or Bharat Ratna could be found. And if they were, then I created a dictionary called My Dict, which would contain the name of the Shiro and the award they have received. Then I appended all of the My Dicts to a list called My List, which would then be looped and would print the name of the Shiro and the award they have received. So if the Shiro has not yet received any award, it would print the Shiro has not been award, awarded with, with any Padma award yet. So here is the sample output. So I use the similar approach for the next one too, for the award-driven output, but the, I created four different strings called Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan, Padma Vibhushan, and Bharat Ratna, where I looped through the total text and kept adding the name of the Shiro to the awards list, which they won. And then I printed every Shiro's name separated by a comma. So I have a snippet of the output over here. Yeah, I'm also yeah. sharing the GitHub link uh, with uh, everyone. Uh, you can take a look into the file starting with Ahala prefix. Okay. So I would like to conclude my presentation by giving you a few key learnings from our projects. So here are a couple of the tools and Python libraries that I have used while going through these projects. Uh, a couple of them like GitHub and PyCharm, NumPy and Matplotlib are widely used by Python programmers. Of course, this is not a comprehensive list, but I just wanted to share with you a few key learnings from the projects that I have done. This is what I have. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ahla. So those uh, on the call, uh, any uh, questions uh, uh, to Ahala on the on the projects or? Uh, I, the I have a question uh, to Ahala. Yes. Can you hear yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent presentation, Ahala. But uh, have you considered of plotting the frequency distribution? Um, uh, I haven't. Frequency tried distribution. That. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, good question. I think there is another project uh, that's coming up. Uh, I think somebody did the frequency distribution of uh, data bus. We want to find out uh, in which uh, century or which decade they are born. So just hold on to that question. Something will coming up later on. Yeah. Sure, sure. But uh, extraordinary presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So Great. Uh, interesting work. Uh, uh, this is Sudhir. Uh, very good work on the programming side. One question from my side is, what is your reflection from learning all of these things? You have learned a lot in a short span of time. Uh, yes, sir. So, uh, I mean, I don't think I would be having any immediate use with this, but later I do want to work on the Shiro's on the project ABCD website, and probably I, I might want to go into the linguistics side also. Uh, so this might also help me in school, and I find it fun. Yeah. Learning experience. Great, great work. Um, yes. Hi, Ahala. This is uh, Aditya. Um, I loved your presentation. Great work. Um, I also saw one of your projects had, uh, like, I think it was called pairing in the documentation, where you were trying to pair uh, two different Shiro's uh, based on the description. That was a yes, pretty sir, interesting that one. Was, that was done in the class, that was demonstrated by Sir in the class. So yeah. I haven't completed that project. Yeah, th I, I thought that was very interesting. I'm just thinking about. If um, 
if if, if based on the user input, for example, uh, which hero will be most relatable to anyone in the world, right? Like, for example, I just give my description as this is me. Uh, I, I enjoy trekking. I love music. And based on my input, you could match with one of the two of the six heroes, which is most closely related to me. That's a very personalized approach and that would invoke a lot of interest among general readers. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, th thanks, Aisha. That's a wonderful uh, idea. Uh, there is one project. I mean, even I have not seen, <laughs> seen that project. That student did it this week. We are kind of interacting with the chat GPT uh, to get, uh, uh, right, with the Shira's book is written from the for third person point of view, right? She did that, she did that. Uh, but when people are doing the mono acting, I mean, they have to do it in the first person, right? I am John C. Rani, I yeah. did that one. So instead of doing it manually, we are sending all the text to the chat GPT and getting the third person, uh, uh, first third person to first person. In a similar context, I mean, what you just uh, did, right? I and mean, if I give a series of interests, uh, right, trying to pick a uh, couple of characters, so uh, matching that interest would be a wonderful idea. Okay, so I will uh, add it to the list of the things to be done later on. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ella, this is Sudha. Uh, able to hear me? Yeah. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Ala, first of all, I mean, of course, there are a lot of questions being asked. I won't ask you any questions, but I'll just pass on the appreciation to you. Being the grade where you are and then uh, uh, your presentation skills, especially I'm, I'm going to touch on the soft skills, right? The presentation yes, skills. And then did you prepare the whole PPT by yourself or? Uh, wow. Yes. That's, that's such a wonderful thing. Very good presentation skills. Your uh, speech skills and everything is so wonderful. Keep up the spirit. And I would like to see you as a very big woman in tech going forward because I'm a woman in tech. I started my career as an engineer, right? So a mechanical engineer, this is 25 years ago. Uh, but I would like to see you. I mean, I see a bright future for you. Good luck. Good job. Very, very good job. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, thanks.